Hello and welcome to today's Stampin' Up! Global, well, Global Stampin' Up! Share Fair. It's our March Share Fair and we're all really excited to be here. So just a few housekeeping rules. All the videos will be available on replay and there'll be photos posted in the album. So with the links to the video. So if you need to get to a video, you can just go straight to the album without having to scroll through everybody that's on there. And our show special for today is three sheets of designer series paper. You'll find the details with your demonstrator that's invited you. So please use their host code so that they know that you qualify for that special. Orders need to be in before the 18th of March to be able to get that. And you can organize with your demonstrator whether you want the DSP in full sheets or cut up for easy postage. So we're really happy to have you all here today. And let's get onto my card, which is really shiny, sparkly, using the, the, sea, the sand and sea suite. Now, this is one of the sweets, which I'm going to say is the most coordinated suite that we've ever had, given that the stamps coordinate with the die, which also coordinates with the embossing folder. Okay, now I'm not using it in this one, but I just quickly want to show you that if you want to arrange your stamps so that they're going to work with your dies to cut them out. If you lay your die down, either on your stamparatus or just on a sheet of paper, if you're going to use a block, then you can put your stamps inside the die. So, and if you get them the right way up, the edges of the stamp fit into the die exactly. And you then put your block or your stamparatus plate over. And when you stamp, your stamps are in place so that your die goes over it. Now, as per usual, I've got a lot of die cutting and embossing in my project today, but I'm going to have done the die cutting in advance so you don't have to watch me big shot. So to start off, I've got a piece of the back card base, which is Sahara Sand. It's my standard size, 14.9 by 10 and a half centimeters, or five and a half by four and a quarter inches. So that's just a single sheet of paper. And what I'm going to do is I'm taking my champagne mist shimmer paint and a sponge dauber. Give it a bit of a shake to get the paint into the top of the the lid and we're just going to rub the paint onto the card so that you can see that that's giving it that sort of lovely shimmer spread it out all over the card give it time to dry you're then going to go and put it through the painted textures 3d folder and voila you get your embossed shiny card base that's our step number one then i've taken my die and i've cut it out of the pearlescent specialty paper so that again is really sparkly not sparkly but shiny and gives that really glossy finish and then this is what I was saying to you earlier this die cut will fit exactly into your embossing folder so once it's cut put it through your embossing folder it fits exactly and once you've put that through your cut and emboss machine you're getting all the ridges and the detail on your die. Now, what I did about 10 minutes before I came on is I went and I put some dobs of um, Tombow glue just randomly with a light hand on the ridges on the shelf. So what I'm going to do now is 
take my gilded leafy, which I've put into a container. And here's a tip for you. Do not drop this because if you do, it goes everywhere. So I'm going to take my die cut and just press it into the leafing. And you'll see now exactly where I've put all the glue. So it's coming up with, looks like I missed a spot there because I'm pretty sure I put some glue at the top here, but maybe I didn't. Okay, looks like I didn't. So then just taking a sponge, I'm going to gently rub off the excess leaf and it's going to stick to where what that was, that shouldn't be there, to where I'd put the glue. Okay, so we just want a little bit of extra sparkle and like I said, and you can see I was very random with the glue. I'm not looking for anything too specific. So we've got a little bit of sparkle on our shelves and now I'm going to cut these apart. So because I'm not using all of these shells, I'm not going to cut everything because you don't really want to sit and watch me cutting with gold all over my fingers. But what I do, or what I've done here is I'm going to cut out that I'm keeping the leaf pieces in big pieces. Okay, I can cut them down if I need to later, but I want those leaves quite big for my, my card. And then I want this big shell. And this time, I don't want those leaves attached to that. And oh, well, I said I wasn't going to cut the whole thing up, but I pretty much have just to get to the bits that I wanted. Okay. So those are the bits that we're going to want here. And then what I've done is I've done the same thing, but putting my... Um, my Sahara Sand um, Love You Always foil sheets through the embossing folder and I've cut that up into sections as well. So we've got all our shells ready to go. Then for my sort of card flappy bit over here, I've got a piece of soft suede which is 29.8 by 7.5 centimetres or 11 inches by three and a quarter. And we're going to fold that in half and stick this, try and get glue all over everywhere onto my card base. And then I've got a piece of the DSP, so I'm using this one which looks like it's little splotches of sand all over. It's got those shells on the back if you're looking for the specific piece. So that is 14.4 by 7 centimetres or 5 and a quarter by 3 inches. And I'm going to stick that onto the top of my card. That's our card almost there. Let's do some stamping. So I've got my insert and the insert is the same size as the DSP, 14.4 by 7 centimetres or 5 and a quarter by 3 inches. And for this you can see what I stamped, just a little bit of texture on the inside. So I'm using the two leafy bits from that stamp set. And I'm using my soft suede 
and the Hara Sand ink. But for the soft suede, I actually want it quite light, but I want the different color browns. So I'm going to stamp that off twice before I stamp it onto my card. And then with with the Sahara sand, we're going to just randomly fill in the other leaf. And I'm taking my big foil shell and sticking that onto the bottom here. Go. So that looks like it's floating in the middle of a whole bunch of seaweed. And we can stick that onto the inside of the card. So now I'm happy because my inside is decorated. So we still need to decorate an envelope to match the card, but that one's good. And then what I did for this one is I took this little for you um, sentiment. I thought we, that one, this one had the thank you on. This one's for you. You can see the sentiments in the stamp set are really friendly sentiments. I like that one as well, love you to the beach and back. Friends are like seashells, you collect them along the way. So lots of really happy, friendly sentiments that you can use in that stamp set. So I've stamped that with the soft suede on my very vanilla ink. And I've cut that out with the smallest layering circle. And I've cut another from the second smallest layering circle in the Sahara sand. Then it's just a matter of positioning our shell or our pieces. So you can use any of the shells that you like. I sat playing around like with this for quite a while. So I'm going to just go with what I did before because I'm pretty sure that you don't want to sit and watch me deciding. I don't know if you're hearing any noise. We've got my next door neighbors sound like they're having a pool party. So I'm hearing sort of kids screaming, which is fine. It's happy noise, so I'm always okay with some happy noise. We don't want um, we don't want people to have unhappy noise going on. But if if you're hearing anything, it's kids next door having fun. So I don't know whether it's coming through to you or not. Size. Now, when I'm going with my other pieces, it's just a matter of remembering where your shells are going to be. So, if I've got that shell's going to be there, I want these pieces sort of poking out the back. And bear in mind that if they're going over the edge here, you don't want them to be going over the edge of the card because otherwise it's not going to fit into your envelope. So. And again, be careful not to put glue on the back here because you don't want that sticking down. And then I'm going to use my, my foil sheet. Okay. 
big shell. And this is what I'd like to stay where I want it to go. Looks like I've put that a bit too high, but that's okay. We're going to cover it up. And then with dimensional, I'm going to put those other two shells on. This one, I'm just sticking two dimensionals on the back of that. That should be enough to hold it. Oops, maybe we shouldn't cover that up. And then with this one, I'm only putting one dimensional on the side over here. And I'm going to put a tiny bit of glue on the other side because that's going to sit on top of that. So if we've got two dimensionals, we would either have to double, la double layer the dimensionals or it's going to be very lopsided and not, not fit very well. And then last week, we've got our sentiment. I'm going to stick the sentiment where my circles are sort of overlapping each other like that. And I'll just put that in the middle of the shell. And there is my card all done. So it takes a little bit of time getting everything prepared. So your um, your cutting and embossing and everything. But once you get going, it goes together really easily. Like I said, love this stamp set, this bundle, sweet, everything. It all coordinates. It all works together. And it can make really nice masculine cards. Just for something different, we're always looking for masculine. Although, having said that, do men like sparkly, shiny cards? Maybe you'd have to give it to a lady friend. So that's my video for today. We'll have Annette up at 12.30, so in about 10 minutes. And we've got a new Australian demonstrator joining us today. So stick around it's not just Annette and myself we've actually got a third person so I will be back to say goodbye to you once Julia's finished and if you make the cards please post pictures we always like to see what you do with our inspiration see you in a little while bye